So if you like the look of trophy trucks and you're looking for a high performance basher, you just clicked on the right video. How's it going everyone? I'm Greg with RC Driver and this is the Lozy Tenacity TT Pro. This I believe is going to be a really exciting truck. And the reason I say that is we've already reviewed the Lozy Tenacity DB Pro buggy and that was just an awesome buggy to drive. It's probably one of my favorite bashers to date right now. It's just so much fun to drive so fast. It's just a great action packed platform. And that platform is found right here under this truck body as well. So it's going to be an exciting review. Let's start off by talking about the body on this trophy truck. And this is the Falcon livery. They actually have two different body styles. This one, of course, and then the Brentel design. Uh, I am pr I'm pretty much drawn to this Falcon body. I love the colors on it. I think they did a great job. Nice and vibrant it's gonna look great when you're out there bashing and to boost the look of it they even have a light bar in the inset in the front grille here which looks very cool when it's lit up they have tethers on the body for the body clips which they've done on a number of their different releases and just overall very very cool lightweight body no interior cage on there but you know what this is a performance chassis so I'm fine without it having a cage on the inside there's a, another close look at it that looks pretty awesome in my book all right, now let's start talking about the, the chassis itself. And again, this is pretty much like the DB Pro and uh, it's got a lot of the performance features that were upgrades in the past, but it's standard equipment here. Uh, but before I get too far ahead, let me tell you about the, the chassis design. This is the SCTE platform, a, a platform that Lozy used for racing and uh, it just handles really well. It works really, really well. And so when you're going out there bashing, this truck is just gonna deliver on, on many levels. So the chassis itself, aluminum plate chassis, it is milled to, to reduce the weight. We do have beveled edges on the side here to help stiffen everything up and to add even more rigidity to it. We've got this upper deck that spans from the front to the rear and even chassis braces that go down from the front rear bulkheads down to the center of the chassis. I mean, so if you are going in and just launching this thing and landing at all sorts of crazy angles, I think this chassis is going to really hold up and, and what I put the DB through, it did hold up. Now we've got these little mud guards on the side. Uh, here is our battery tray for the chassis right here. And now they even have a test for the body clip for the battery strap here which is which is hinged and they do go ahead in the kit and get they give you these spacers so you can go and raise up the battery strap here so you can run a 3s battery in there or it comes standard uh, set up for a 2s battery so you do have that option no other features besides the chassis let's go up to the front bumper we've got this nice cool skid front bumper and uh, there is that light bar mounted to the top of it it's got the wire running over to the receiver we'll talk about the receiver in a little bit but nice skid front bumper and then it's got this overbuilt rear bumper to it which looks very cool and definitely feels pretty solid so if you're landing on that thing i think it's going to hold up uh other things i want to point out that are specific to the the truck we now have got these tall body mounts front and rear and they are adjustable so if you do want to go and, and swap out the body for some reason you can go and adjust the height of the body mounts there so that works out pretty well. Now let's move on to the suspension. And again, I've kind of gone over this before with the DB. So I am definitely gonna go and put a card up top so you could see that full review. Uh, but again, this is based on the SCTE suspension and we've got really durable arms here. I love the way the, the caster block and steering knuckle setup is. Uh, we've got large bearings in those steering knuckles to support the axles. In the rear, again, very heavy duty arms and uh, heavy duty rear hubs. And they do have some option parts as well. So if you wanna go and upgrade this thing later on, uh, if you think you're really gonna go wild, whether you just wanna customize it, you do have that option as well. Uh, they got some great hop up parts in their lineup. The inner suspension hinge pin plates are aluminum and then they've got the plastic caps on them, both front and rear and a great overall suspension setup. Now to damp the suspension, they do have these nice aluminum oil filled 12 millimeter bore shocks. Really great shock, really great feel to it. Uh, proven design, again, that, that has worked on the SCTE racing trucks. And it's great to see that they included them here. Got a threaded collar on there so you go and adjust preload. And then the shocks mount to the uh, aluminum shock tower. So on some of the older SCTE uh, variations of this vehicle, we had plastic shock towers. Now I've got nice strong aluminum towers on there. You've got a really nice natural aluminum finish to it. Uh, and again, those are both front and rear. So those were actually uh, performance options 
options that you would you would upgrade uh, on older vehicles now it is included stock with this truck and to round out the suspension details there are sway bars front and rear on here and there are adjustable turnbuckles so uh there were actually fixed links on some of the other ste vehicles and we have nice thick heavy duty tie rods both front and rear and on the steering on this truck all right let's move on to the drive line now these are oil filled differentials uh and uh, of course that means they're sealed so if you want to go and, and tune the oils you could go, of course go and do that if you want to uh metal gears on the inside there are the four bevel gears on the inside as well as the two larger spider gears some of the older sde vehicles just for a very short period only had two gears in there but uh Losi has gone ahead and it just outfitted the way it should be we got nice machine ring and pinions We've got a steel spur gear in the center, and that mates up to a steel pinion gear, of course, which actually has a five millimeter bore to it because the motor has a five millimeter shaft on there. So this is, you know, basically built for power. We've got ball bearings throughout and uh, 12 millimeter hexes on the outside of the axles. Now that means we should move on to the electronics. And this is a very potent electronics package for a 110 scale vehicle. Usually in a 10 scale vehicle, we see like 60 amp speed controllers or 80 amp speed controllers. This right here, the Spectrum Firma 130 is a 130 amp speed controller and it's fitted with an IC5 connector on here. That's a huge connector to have on a 10 scale vehicle, but this is a great speed controller. Definitely watch that DB review. I go into all the details about it, but uh, you could go and use telemetry with a, an optional module that you put in the radio system so you could view your telemetry details on a smartphone or a smart device if you want to. Uh, a really great speed controller, very tunable, and for a, a stock out of the box system, I, I don't think you ever really need to upgrade unless you're going wild with some crazy project build. This is going to provide plenty of power and fun along with the motor that they have in here. This is the Firma 3150 KV motor. I already know that this has a ton of power to it. They do go and give you two pinion gears. So you go and tune the gear ratio that's in here. Right now it's set up for a 2S battery. If you go and throw a 3S battery in here, you throw the smaller pinion gear on here just to keep the temperatures in check. Now moving on to the servo, it's the 605 steering servo. It's your, your standard uh, high torque metal geared servo. Works pretty well right out of the box. Uh, it definitely worked well in the DB. So I think it's going to work well here. And then over here we have the spectrum receiver. This is the telemetry receiver. You can go and view the telemetry on the radio system with that optional Bluetooth module. But what's really great about this receiver, it also incorporates the AVC. So if you're new to driving, you need the assist. Uh, it does have the AVC in there. You could, of course, go and turn it off if you're a pro driver and you just want to go out and thrash and bash this thing with your own steering input without any assist. Uh, that option is there. But there are definitely a lot of great features associated with this receiver with this electronic setup uh, you can really just know everything about your system uh, as you're running it you can go and see temperatures you can see uh, battery voltages everything like that it's a very awesome system even allows you to check your speeds at, and rpm as you're driving this vehicle uh, definitely check out the manual because that goes and explains a lot of it Again, check out that DB review. I keep referencing that DB review I did, but it has a ton of great information in there as well. Uh, but there's your manual that, that will get you up to speed on everything you need to know to run this car. They also give you a decal sheet. Here is the GX2E active radio system. They give you some AA batteries to go and power that. You will need to provide the, the main battery and the charger for this vehicle. Again, it'll run on 2S or 3S, uh, but great little radio system. Again, it's expandable. You could throw the Bluetooth module in the back and they have this uh, adapter that you go and, and mount your cell phone to the top of as well. So I definitely like this for a ready to run radio system. And then they go and give you some basic tools and stuff. There's some Allen wrenches, a box wrench so you could uh, take the wheels off. And I'm gonna go run this on a Spectrum battery pack, 3S pack, 50C LiPo pack. Uh, so that's what I'll be powering it for the test. And that pretty much wraps things up. Oh, I forgot to talk to you about the tires. So we've got licensed Wild Peak tires on here on Method wheels and they definitely have a great look to them as well. All right, that is all the features you need to know about the TT Pro. That means it's time to go drive it. Let's go out and have some fun.
I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know which one is my favorite at this point. The Lozy Tenacity TT Pro or the DV Pro. Both of them are fun vehicles and I just had a blast with this trophy truck here. Took it over to the local BMX track and it was pretty muddy, but I made the best of it. Found some really cool spots to run on in the grass, ran it through the gravel and then took it out onto the track and that was just a complete mud pit. But this thing is amazing. Just like the DB Pro, it's got a ton of power. So much so that uh, this thing was pulling wheelies almost. If I throttled it just right, it would just pull the front wheels up and start to carry them. It is just really, really powerful. So powerful that when I went and jumped it, I was like, this thing can backflip. And I tried it and it did. A trophy truck doing backflips, that's just pure excitement right there. But let's talk about the power some more. I uh, just want to remind you guys that I did run it on 3S and I actually left the larger pinion gear in there because it was 30 degrees out. And I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me push this a little bit. They don't recommend that you run it on that pinion gear for long periods of time, but I went and did it anyway. And I don't suggest you do it if you want to stay on the safe side. I was like, let me just go and go wild with this thing, you know, right out of the box, throw that 3S pack in there and go have fun with it. And it is just a monster. Like I said, you're flying up and down the straightaway in that parking lot area where I bash around. Uh, this thing is just super fast to the point where uh, I think it starts to overpower the diffs. You could start to see the, the truck sway a bit. And if you get a, a little bit too loose and you spin the thing out, it just wants to keep on doing loops because the, the truck is just diffing out. I actually went and dialed back the AVC on there because when it was diffing out, the AVC was trying to correct too much for it. And, uh, you know, I was I found myself just fighting with it. And, you know, having driven RC cars for such a long time, I like being in full control of it. And so I dialed back on the AVC and that's when I had much more fun. I was able to, to pull it out of the, the spins that it was doing. Uh, so the, you know, maybe the truck needs a little bit heavier oil in there, but uh, for right out of the box, I think you know whoever drives it is going to have a lot of fun with it. But again, the power on tap here is just incredible. I love the power plant in here. That Spectra Firma system definitely does the job of laying down some fast fun. Uh, the steering on here worked really well in the beginning. Actually, no, let me back up because when I put it down, uh, the steering was reversed out of the box. So I had to go flip the switch here, uh, you know, then just uh, trimmed it out, which was pretty easy. And that should have been done out of the box from Losi. Uh, so, you know, it's it, it's an easy fix. But so once I got that done, uh, the steering on here, very neutral. You know, it's got a good steering radius to it. Off power, on power. It's, it, off power turns pretty tight. And again, I think that the diff oil helps out with that in, in the off power turns. Uh, and then when you're rolling onto the throttle, it, it still maintains a nice turn. Uh, but you know, I think it's right where it needs to be for this truck. The steering servo, little on the laggy side. And uh, actually when this thing got packed full of dirt, I thought I burnt out the servo because it wasn't turning to the right for some reason. And uh, when I wound up pulling the body off, this thing was completely caked with dirt and it physically couldn't move because there was too much dirt packed into the steering. Uh, but once I cleaned it out, the steering servo still works fine in here, uh, but you know, a little on the sluggish side. So if you're looking for that you know, quick, precise steering, you might want to think about a servo upgrade. Handling wise, this thing is awesome. I love the way this thing handles. I love the way the DB handled. They have the setup for these trucks just dialed in. You know, whoever did the setup again, really should get a raise. And whoever you are, quote me on that and go to Horizon, tell them that because it, this truck just handles really well. It landed on the wheels the majority of the time. I was able to pull it out of some, you know, funky jumps and just land on all fours and even doing backflips. It would just do the backflip, land on all fours. Sometimes it would pop back up and it would just land on the wheels again. I like how it just blew through the rough stuff. It just tore up the dirt. Maybe the tires needed to be a little bit better. Uh, you know, again, it was cold outside. So they, they were firmed up a bit from it being so cold, but they, they did okay. I think, you know, you could definitely have fun with it in the grass and some, some loose dirt and stuff like that. Just when you get on the harder pack surfaces, I think that's when you're gonna find uh, the wheel spin uh, a bit more than, than the Lomi stuff. Uh, but overall, this thing is so cool. I, I, I the, the big factor here for me was this thing had enough power to do backflips. So if it has that much power, you know it's going to be a fun machine. They did a great 
job here. Again, I don't know which one I like more between the two Tenacity Pros that are out there right now. The buggy looks so cool. This trophy truck looks so cool. You know, if you need a four-wheel drive 10 scale off-road vehicle, this, this is one of them. This is one of my favorites. I would definitely suggest you go and grab one if you're into this vehicle.